Hey, it's your boy Garrett here with another Photoshop tutorial. Have you ever thought to yourself, oh man, I wish I knew how to make custom brushes in Photoshop? Well, guess what, asshole? After watching this video, you are going to be making some sick brushes. But what is a Photoshop brush, really? Well, it looks like a line, uh, but it's not a line. It's actually a bunch of balls. It's thousands of little balls. I mean, you spread them out, you can see what it actually is. It's like stamped graphics. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, you should think of it as stamps uh, that could either be in a chain or sprayed. So then let's start with the chain type first. In order to illustrate my point, I'm going to make a literal chain. Okay, um, so let's just fast forward this part because this might take me a couple of minutes. All right, now I got my chain. So I'm ready to make it a brush. I got two links here. I'm going to connect all the links. So go to edit, define brush preset. Doesn't matter what you name it. Now I got it. Okay, but what I want to show you is that when you start using this brush, it looks the same. It's not. It's basically an alpha channel representation of what you just drew. In other words, the gray is transparent. See? See that blue coming through right there? So when you're designing your brushes, be careful of how you use the white because it's going to be a transparent uh, area there. And if you want this to look like a rendered chain, well, it's kind of difficult. Um, what I usually do is just duplicate the layer and I put one behind it that's... Uh, that's white and maybe I duplicate it a couple of times and collapse that layer and then I've got this white layer here um, that keeps the background from coming through it's just something to think about alright but let's get into the real shit so I want to start using this brush but it doesn't look like anything yet because I gotta spread it out okay I spread out these links they're still not linking together but now there is an application to using the brush this way. Um, you can make industrial patterns and textures. Like maybe this could be like a sci-fi thing. I don't know. Maybe it's a grill, or maybe this is like a like a sci-fi vent. Um, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. It doesn't look like a chain, but you can see how the graphics are chained together. That's why I call it that. But if you want to make the actual chain. You're going to have to go into your settings and change the angle and the direction. So right here, make sure this angle is facing the right way, 90 degrees. Um, you're going to have to space that out. You're going to go into your shape dynamics and control the angle to direction. Okay, now you see how it follows it. Um, they're a little close. I might space that out a little bit more, but I mean, that's looking pretty good. So. There's our chain. I don't want to use it too big. It looks good when it's small. If you get close up, you can see the uh, um, irregularities because when you get tight corners, they don't really connect. But when it's straight, it looks pretty cool. And um, maybe we could, I don't know, draw a scene with like a character tied up with a chain or something. Maybe, uh, maybe you just spherize that. Maybe it's wrapped around a character or something. It looks pretty good. One last thing, once you have your brush set up, go to the brush icon and make a new tool preset. This is gonna save everything that we just set up. Okay, so now I just wanna give you a quick idea of some other things you can do. Here's a generic arrow brush. I'm just gonna make some like tire tracks or something, it could be like tread marks. This is like, this kinda look like a pill bug or a roly poly, you know, millipede thing. So I just put some uh, got some little legs under here. I'm, all, I'm using the same brush for all of this stuff, right? So you can see uh, I can adjust it. And um, once you get colors and pressure sensitivity into there, you can do some cool stuff. Like these could be feathers or it could be like a fern plant. And I'm going to show you how to do the colors in a second. So let's get into sprays. Let's start with like a classic ink splatter effect. Now you can make your own um, real life 
splatter and scan it in and uh, and make a brush from that. Or you could just use the lasso tool and uh, get some areas here. I'm just going to get some random splotches here. And I'm going to start with a small brush and I'm going to make a larger brush. Let me just smooth this out real quick. Something like that, you know, whatever. See how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to make my brush preset. Now keep in mind I'm using this small canvas and not this big one because you can't make a brush from anything that's bigger than 2500 pixels. Keep that in mind. Alright, so we got our brush going. Um, let's see how it looks. I'm going to randomize the size and I'm going to randomize the angle. Okay, I'm going to flip that. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like debris. Um, you know, it's not like ink. It's more like, um, I don't know, it's like dust or uh, kind of look like pebbles or something. But it's, you know, it's a cool texture. So this on its own is already cool. But we can use this brush to make another brush. So check this out. I'm just going to stamp this down a little bit. And I'm going to get a bigger area. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't even matter. That works. Okay, now I'm going to make this the brush. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to randomize the size. I'm going to randomize the angle. I'm going to spread it out. Okay, so now I have a much bigger splat brush. See that? And if I wanted to, I could make this a brush too. I can keep going. You can make brushes to make more brushes. And just go fucking nuts with it. Alright, but let's add some color and let's see what we can do with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my options again. I'm going to go to the color dynamics. And... Already I have this set to a little bit of hue, saturation, and brightness jitter. And that's going to give me some variation. Um, maybe this could be like a like a leaf brush. I mean, it doesn't really look like leaves. It kind of looks like leaves. Um, so, you know, you could make a bush or something. Um, this could be uh, like a fire. Maybe these are, maybe this is like lava. And those are sparks coming off. That looks kind of cool, huh? It's a cool effect. I mean, it only took me, what, 20 seconds to make this brush? It's not bad. Now, if you have a stylus, um, you can use pen pressure to dictate the color as well. Um, so I'm going to set this to pen pressure. And depending on how hard I press down, it's going to switch back and forth from... Uh, red to uh, red to yellow okay so let's see what happens here press it lightly it's red okay press a little bit harder now it's yellow it's just let me just illustrate this point a little bit okay I'm gonna start off lightly lightly a little bit harder more pressure yellower so you, you can use this to paint foliage um, it could be this kind of fire effect it's a really powerful tool so you definitely dig into these menus and see what you can do to create um, a variety of really cool brushes you can also use photos to make brushes if you find something like this with an interesting pattern in it you just have to isolate that i'm just going to invert that part clean it up a little bit um, you got to fix the edges to make sure that it's balanced and doesn't have any hard corners on it then just set up the brush the same way you did before and you can get a cool creepy texture going this looks like a sci-fi cocoon here's another one i found this on pixabay definitely uh download this image i'm going to put the link in the description so grab that all you need to do to make it a brush is basically just take off the corners and uh, again, just set it up like we did. And look how cool that is.
I think this is a pretty good starting point. I might make another video later that goes into more detail, but for now, just see what you can do. Um, keep making new things and experimenting, and just always be prolific. <laughs>